my practice here in Miami uh, for concierge physiotherapy. What's up? What's what's happening with you? Uh, so basically, I've had issues going on with my knees for about two years now. Mm -hmm. um, I've been very active, and you know, they just I can't run anymore. Like I can't run more than five minutes, you know, half a mile without them aching and like hurting on impact every time. Um, you know, I've looked at other like I've gone other avenues. I've talked to different people. I've gone to a chiropractor. I've gotten MRIs on my knees, and I was told that I had chondromalacia patella, and it's basically, you know, that I've overused my knees. That's what they told me. What are the symptoms that you feel currently? Uh, so I feel it like right underneath my kneecap, like all of, like around the bottom of the kneecap, and mm -hmm. it just it feels like it's underneath the kneecap, like on a constant impact. Every time I impact, it just mm -hmm. it's like it burns. And it hurts more and more and just the level goes intense and more intense every you know minute that passes and your goal is to basically get back to running without that uh burning in your kneecaps yeah, yeah. i mean running's kind of the key essential to everything like if you can't run you can't do anything so sure so well, let me ask you a question uh today is our first real session right, right. um uh, saw you at the park uh watched you run we did a performance running analysis found the problem last time and told you that your uh, lower back was the, the real driver. How much improvement did you have with that uh, intervention in terms of your um, pain level? So it stayed away for a while, I went from six to a 10 quick. Mm -hmm. um, but I definitely felt more, you know, like looser on my back and stuff mm -hmm. and more limber, you know, I don't know. Let's take a look from the, from the back. The left one, you can actually see the the falling in of the arch, the arch um, is, is closer to the ground, and the right one, the arch is more elevated off the ground. You'll see that space right there. And that right there is going to lead me to the way we're going to set up your, your sneakers and your orthotics to, to take the impact off your knees. And for the right side, we're going to just support your existing forefoot with some medial arch support so that every time he hits the ground, he doesn't um, get um, compression through the uh, knee. Your glutes are so far, it just is so weak. How many visits are we in today? Second. Second visit. Um, pretty much kills you today. Um, yeah, not, I'm still sore from the other day. <laughs> right. Um, feeling that left glute firing, right? The, the buttock firing yeah. yet? Yeah. Ready? Right. Rock and roll. Yep. Let's go. So we're going to change your speed and you're going to uh, make sure that you're working faster and not making noise when you hit the ground. We're going to seven miles per hour as usual. Okay, remember um, elbows close to your side, up to chest height, very close to your body and you don't want to hear the ground. You're definitely hitting more um, forefoot. That left foot's still pronating a little bit. You're still kind of uh, whipping that heel in on the left, and the hip is still rotating a little bit into internal rotation. Softer on the feet. Da, 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 da. Move it fast. All right, we're at point twenty-two of a mile. Not gonna make it. Too tired? Yeah. yeah. You wiped out. Yeah. We did some barefoot running right now to see if we can improve his uh, step length. I mean, his uh, stride, um, his cadence. Yes. Also, yeah, both sides. The left is much, much worse. All right. So session number two, we just ran. We changed the speed of your gait, of your cadence. Um, and told you to soften up on the forefoot. And usually, what's the story with you, man? Usually, what? So what usually, you running at seven, uh, you know, seven miles an hour, I would get three quarters of a mile in. Well, I would say about half a mile in, and I would start feeling a pain, you know, a jabbing pain in my right knee. Where usually is the pain? Right through here. Uh huh. And you know, it started and progressively get worse really quickly. To what number usually? I would say it would start and then it would be a 10 by I got to like 0.65 of a mile. Okay. 0.7. Mm -hmm. So I started getting out of breath before my knees started really, before I had to stop for my knees. 
So I would say, at, you know, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, how is that like maybe a point, uh, a four on the pain indicator from one to 10. So definitely an improvement from last session. We got it to four from a 10, which is awesome. I would say. So are you happy? 100%. I'm dead. Tell, tell, me, tell me what we just did today. What didn't we do? What visit fourth, did we hit today? Fourth. Fourth visit. Why are you on the floor? I'm dead. Why are you laying my on the- My lungs gave out, my knee gave Are you, out are you on a treadmill right now? <laughs> Why are you laying on a treadmill? What did we just do? What did we just run today? How long did we run for? We ran a mile. And, and the pain, I, I felt like a little bit of something around half a mile, but then I kind of remembered to tighten up my core and my, both my glutes while I was running. And it stayed like a two. And I want to say it almost even like went away, went back down to a one after I really focused on keeping everything activated. And my lungs gave out at a mile. <laughs> Couldn't do it anymore. So so do you feel like this, uh, yeah, this process that we've been through has been worth your time? put words to it. For two years being told you, you know, you just overworked your knees, you were very active and you can't run anymore. At my age, it just wasn't acceptable. So yeah, I don't, I don't know what to say. Today's, <laughs> today was a breakthrough day for you, man. I'm pretty yeah. proud of you. You ran it uh, seven miles an hour, um, eight minute mile, and you made it with two out of 10 pain. Usually you're spiking at right. around 0.64 and you're, you're jumping it. off the treadmill. Yeah, it's like an eight or a nine. So breakthrough, stoked, man. Yeah, I'm stoked too. Pretty pumped to see how your your first marathon is going to be, man. <laughs>